Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are gonna be going through a day in the life of me. <laughs> so this is what we are wearing today and I'm just gonna get ready a little bit, so. So I brushed my teeth and brushed my hair and put it up in a weird little ponytail. I put deodorant on I didn't wash my face this morning because I just didn't really feel like I had motivation to. I also tried to pop my lip pimple and now it's really painful. So that's really cool, really fun and dandy. Okay, well, we're gonna move on to my little self-care routine, which some people on TikTok were asking about. So first on my little self-care routine is my affirmation box. And for people who are wondering, I printed them off the internet. Actually, I didn't print them off. One of the workers at the hospital printed them off for me. So we're gonna do that first. I basically just like move them around in my hand and whatever one I feel like my fingers are drawn to, I pull out so today is I am worthy of love and then I'm gonna replace it with yesterday's recovery notebook and basically here I fill out the answers so so Hi. So I filled out some of it and some of it is also like reflection. Like this side is for like the end of the day. I'm supposed to fill these ones out too. So that's what I do here. And yeah. Anything to add, Pinky? I also just want you guys to know I don't do this every day. I try to do it as much as I can, but I often don't do this. So don't feel discouraged and be like i could not get up and do this every morning it i i don't thank you should be part of your pinky morning routine chuck us downstairs oh do you want to say hi he's down there he's just getting some water from his emmy hi baby So I'm kind of having a meh day today, but I was like, I can't lay in bed all day because that's not going to make a very good video. So we're going to go to Michael's and find some stuff to entertain me with. So that should be good. I don't want to talk right now. Okay. So I'm not going to include the exact words of our conversation out of respect to our private conversation. But basically what happened was she said, if you want to go to Michael's, this is my mom talking, by the way. My mom said, if you'd like to go to Michael's, um, you have to eat something. And I said, I didn't want to eat yet. And she said, okay, well, we can't go to Michael's then. And in the end, she ended up saying, you can drink some Powerade instead of eating something just for now and I got really upset by that but that was pretty much ju the gist of the conversation so yeah I 
fucking hard is it to eat? I'm fine, I didn't mean to drop that. I want to go to Michael's. So I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to drink some Gatorade. I am record. I was going to record me drinking the Powerade. Are you recording it right now? Yeah. Louise! What's wrong with Don't that? record me when I do not have my, give you my consent. That's right, Missy. Oh. We're Daniel. Thank you. Come get it, because we're going to go soon. Ha ha ha. Oh. I, hi. My tooth didn't fall out. filming just so you know so you're gonna walk by it you look fine <laughs> you look fine i hope it's not that i i don't care what i look like Putting my shoes on that I've been wearing for like two years. She won't let me buy her new ones. So I put a hoodie on for my scars because I'm feeling self-conscious today, so. Should we get masks? Do we need masks? Let's bring them just in case. Where's mine? I'll use this one. Where's the here? It covers my eyes. Is it upside down? No, I Not just. A one? No, 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 it's okay. You're right. It is really, really hot. It is. Just kidding. Okay, uh, my mom got that book for me, my second admission in hospital, and I was really angry at her. True facts. She has regrets. <laughs> it didn't land very well. <laughs> I feel like everyone is staring at me. This is why I don't leave my home. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. So, they're really expensive, which we already knew, but forgot. So, we're gonna go to the dollar store first, compare, then come back. I think I'm gonna get heat stroke. <laughs> Take your jacket off. I 
I'm obsessed with this. Look at those. They're glitter. Back in the cool, fresh air. Why does it feel like it's closer to my face now? Hello. Hello. Back at Michael's and we're looking at the beads again because I'm determined to build my bead set. Sorry. He was just looking at me because I'm talking to myself. Love that for me. Am I sweating? Oh my god, it's hotter than Hades. Where are we going next? Just right there, shoppers. Okay. I'm really anxious to go in the store with my arms out, but it's hot and I'm dying, so we're gonna do it anyways. Conquer my fears. That girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back from shoppers and we didn't buy anything, so it was really quick. And now we are on our way home, and I will do a haul when we get home. Welcome back to my house, and now we are going to do a little haul. So, the first thing I got was a new sketchbook, which I'm really excited about. It's really pretty, too. I got a bunch of stuff to paint, so I've got like this box, these butterflies. This mask. I'm gonna use my own paints though, not these ones. Birdhouse. And these, I love these. Then I got a bunch of beading stuff. So, got a bunch of beading stuff here. <laughs> and a box to put them all in. And then my favorite thing I got is these glitter things. I don't know why, but I'm just like, oh, get away from. I'm just like obsessed with them. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. They're like, I don't know. They're just, they're just absolutely gorgeous. That is what I got at the dollar store in Michaels. And yeah, I enjoyed it. It was really hot and I hate wearing sweaters in summer, but uh, at the end I overcame my fears. So that's good. And I think I'm gonna wash my hair now cause it's been a week. I usually don't wash my hair too often, which I need to work on, but I'm gonna try and do it today let alone like i i just don't know because i can ask like my friends and that and they so i'm really upset right now because i really wanted to wash my hair but i sat in the bath and just kind of sat there and i wasn't able to wash my hair and so i'm just upset right now upset with myself and now i'm all sweaty because it was a really fucking hot bath so yeah that's what's going on right now i will keep you guys posted so my mom and my dad are currently talking about me upstairs on the phone so that's cool um yeah we love that so having a little bit of a rough time right now and we called the crisis team that is going to come out to my house and I'm going to talk to them so I'll let you know how that goes hey so I'm in the hospital right now the door is closed so I don't know how much longer I have to talk to you guys but um I don't know if I'm going to be admitted or not so I will explain when I have a chance inserted here it's technically the next day um, I'm currently in the ER waiting to talk to the psych team but I thought I couldn't kind of end the vlog off on how I did before because I was just like peace out I'm not doing great and then that was it so I thought I had to update you guys even though it was supposed to be a day vlog not two days but um Basically, I'll also update you once I talk to the psych team because I feel like that's fair as well. But um, my suicidal ideation was pretty bad yesterday, so 
um, I was really, really struggling and we called Imsert and they were like, do you have a plan? And I was like, yes. And then they wanted me to stay home. We had a long conversation and they're like, you know what? We're, we're thinking it's better for you to stay home. And I said, okay, but um, I'm gonna run if you guys leave and I'm home. And they're like, we just wanna see if you can do it. And so they left and then I tried to jump off my my little balcony area. Sorry, not funny, not funny, mom. And um, to try to run, and then my parents kind of like tackled me, but nicely and not painfully. And I kind of shut down a bit, so I was just sitting on my balcony, not speaking. And um, then. Imsert came back and I bawled my eyes out with them and then they took me here. So that's kind of what happened yesterday and I thought I needed to explain that to you. So went down yesterday and so yeah now I'm just waiting to talk to the psych team and see what's gonna happen and I will update you guys after that. So I guess this is gonna technically be a day and a half vlog but um yeah. This is how life goes sometimes, and that's all I have to say, so stay tuned. So I just talked to the psych team, and they're just going to see, um, they're just going to see if I'm medically stable, and then we're going to talk about what to do next, so I'll keep you posted. So, just left the hospital. You know what? Let's just be completely real in this video. I fucking hate that place. They invalidate me and my emotions and my feelings every fucking time I go. Do you think I'll get taken down for swearing? No, YouTubers swear all the time. I would not know. Um, so yeah, still really struggling and they let me leave anyways, which makes me feel like I need to prove to them that they made the wrong decision, which I'm not going to. I just don't like it. Like, I don't know why they have a hate for me. They don't have a hate for you. They literally you are like, are so hex her away from nope. this fucking place. They, we don't want her here. They care about you so much and they know that the hospital is not the right place for you. Somewhere is the right place like home but with help well that's but not working is it we're trying to seek help and they don't want to make you worse They're that was their fault for keeping me in the fucking hospital for a year and a half that is true i would agree with that but they all care about you very much and they all know how deeply you're struggling and they desperately don't want to make things worse by admitting I know, but they're just gonna, they leave me where I can be unsafe, like, you know? I, I wouldn't disagree with that, and I mean, I think you have a point there. It's, I a, real, it's a real tricky situation, I, don't, I just know that I'm feeling very frustrated. So yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys. Sorry that the vlog turned into two days. It was supposed to only be a day, but I thought I had to update you all on how the night went. And yeah. It was sleepless. It was sleepless. That's I slept. Wow. You weren't allowed to sleep. You had to watch me. I may have closed my eyes. <laughs> they were like, they told I my mom, really they're sleep. like, you can't sleep. Like you have to watch her. She has to be watched 24 seven. And I, in my head, I'm like, isn't that not your job though? Why does my mom have to do that? What if my mom was like, what if you were like, what if it was a different family? And if I was like, peace out, see ya. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I don't know, it's just whatever. Underfunded mental health system. Hmm. Well then don't try and fake an ending that it's happening. Well, would you like me to post just misery on the internet? I don't want you to post any of this. I never have. <laughs> Why? I have never wanted you to post all your your personal I'm trying to spread awareness. That is different. That is not different. That's the same thing. Well, you've given out so 
so much private information. That's because I'm trying to spread awareness. Well, I think there's... It's like, it's. I'm not going to spread superficial awareness. I want to actually tell people how hard it is and spread awareness of how hard things can be for mental health. Well, and then what happens when you want to have, like, have say something positive? Are you just saying it but don't mean it? No, I say positive things. Oh my god. No, I say positive things. Yeah, no, I know you do. I, I've seen some of your videos, but I'm not sure you're practicing what you're saying. I'm working on it, and that's all I can do, you know? I'm working on it. And when I do get better, um, people, my followers and people who follow me or watch these videos can be like, I can relate of how hard it's been for me, and I see how hard it was for this girl. And she's being completely honest here. She's not sugarcoating it. She's telling all the shit that she's going through. And now she's getting better so I can get better too. I like that. That's the whole point of everything I'm doing. It's the entire point. I like that theme. That's the entire point. Because if I was to just be like sugarcoating it and show like a little bit of what's going on but not tell everything, it would be like, okay, but is she really even struggling? You know what I mean? Like, it's not actually going to get the point across. I'm trying to be open and honest because people try to be fake on the internet and be like, love my life. And I'm trying to be honest about how hard shit can be and show people that they, and they are going to follow my recovery and it's going to get better eventually. And oh, just, then they're going to see that and they're going to be like, wow, I can get better too. That's what I'm trying to do. I still think you, you're, you've, like, given so much information, like, through your videos as to, like, where you live, like, all sorts of information that I would not have chosen for you to put online. No, I think mental health, the way we can normalize mental health is talking about it, so that part I love. Um, but I do think that there is like information that we don't necessarily need to like tell people only, I mean, we have, we have different um, barometers as to what we feel is like, you feel more comfortable sharing anything and everything. I think I'm more of a private person where I would share something not on the internet, but I'd share with like a handful of my girlfriends or sure. something. I used to be that way too. I think I kind of just realized that, I don't know, I want to make a difference in the world. You will. I, I want to no make doubt. I want to make a difference in the world. Well, I think you already, you have and you are. I want to make a difference in the world. I want to normalize mental health. I want to end the stigma against mental health. I'm I want to, you there. I want to support people's recoveries and show them that it gets better. And this is my way of doing it. Maybe, maybe I should have started when I was better and then just explained my experiences so it didn't have to be, so they didn't have to see me so upset. And I was planning on doing that. I told myself I wasn't going to start my YouTube channel until I was better. Oh yeah, I remember you said that. But when is better and what does better even look like? We don't know yet. Well, there's not even, the thing is, is that it's never going to be just a better. It's well, gonna, it's not light switch, no. It's going to be it's gonna be a long process, a lifelong process. And it's nev I'm never going to have a moment where I'm like, I'm better, I'm fixed. Because it's going to be something I'm working on and living with, but it's going to be tolerable. Yeah, and I think, I think you're going to experience genuine happiness. I think you're going to find... Uh, a partner and I think you're gonna have babies and I think you're gonna have an amazing enjoyable life I just think that we you haven't felt that happiness that genuine happiness in so long that I think you've forgotten how how that actually feels I have yeah and I don't think I do like I think when you say lifelong I'm like yes absolutely it's not a straight line you're you're gonna have when you're 65 years old, you're going to have a shitty day and you're going to be like, oh my God. And 
you know what I mean? Like it's not going to be all butterflies and happiness, but I do think you're going to get to a point. Actually, I know, I know this in my gut. I a hundred percent know this. I would bet my entire life on it that you are going to be a genuinely happy human being and you're going to contribute so much to uh, other people's um, supporting other people who are struggling. I mean it. I 100% mean it. I've always known this. And I think that's part of the reason why I I just I, I just believe in you. I just do. And I know that you're you've got good things ahead of you, kiddo. You've got you've got so many good things coming up and you're going to be so so happy one day that you pushed through and powered through this shit. There is good shit waiting for you, Missy. I promise. I know it. I know it like I'm here right now. I absolutely know it. I swear to God. It's gonna be good. We're just in the trenches. We're in the shitty shit shit. And... It's gonna take a little while, I, I'm well aware of that. But it's gonna be bumpy, and it's gonna be tough, and it's gonna be scary, but you're gonna get through it. And we're gonna look back at this time, and we're gonna be like, wow, that fucking sucks. So we're back home now, and I'm undo myself. Yeah, I just wanted to say, Thank you guys for watching my first vlog and let me know in the comments what kind of video that you want to see next. Um, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A because that's what people said on TikTok. So yeah. So thank you for watching my video and listening to me rant about the mental health system. And yeah, that's that. This was my day and next morning. So thank you for watching. Bye, guys.